Carolina. Hi, this is Dan, the owner of Whisk, the cooking store in Cary, North Carolina, where we offer quality kitchenware, cooking classes, and culinary inspiration. Today I want to talk to you about coffee solutions, and one of my favorite things to use at home is the Breville U-Brew. The reason I like this is because it enables me to make coffee just for myself or for a whole group of people if I'm having a party. It's a very flexible machine. I can also adjust strength and flavor uh, in my coffee, use whatever beans I want. Uh, a lot of different things we can do with this. So let me show you how it works. First of all, we've got a stainless steel carafe. And I have found that when I make coffee, if I make coffee this morning, by the next morning that coffee is still warm. So this carafe holds heat for a long time. Definitely, you know, you make coffee in the morning and by noon or one o'clock, that coffee is still hot. So I love that feature on this. The other feature I love is that if I have a travel cup, I can put it right in here. And if I have a bigger travel cup, put it right in here. So I can take my travel cup, just make a single cup at one time and off I go. I don't need to make a whole carafe of coffee. In here, we have the hopper, and this is where we put the coffee beans. The nice thing about the hopper is it unlocks, and if you wanted to get an extra hopper, Breville does sell an extra hopper that you can get. The beans in the hopper uh, go down here. It even comes with this neat little brush just to kind of clean out uh, anything that needs to be cleaned out, any ground coffee. But I'm just gonna put that hopper back in, and I'm gonna lock it in. In a minute we're going to make coffee, but I want to show you a few of the buttons. Uh, this button opens, and this is where the coffee will be ground into. And I, it comes with a nice gold filter, so that filter just stays there, right in there. Now the Breville allows you to make either a single cup, and your cup size can be regular, large, or extra large. I consider a travel cup an extra large. or you can make a carafe, and your carafe can have as many cups as you want. You can go anywhere from two cups to 12 cups. It's not showing me right now until I pour some water in. The U-Brew also has a strength and flavor adjustment. And what does that mean? Well, strength is a function of how much coffee the machine grinds. So if you set it to be stronger, if you like stronger coffee, it will grind more beans for you. Flavor is a function of how long that coffee steeps before it releases into your cup or carafe. And so you can choose the level of flavor that you like. And I highly recommend that, you know, everybody is using different beans. So I highly recommend you get a get some coffee beans that you like and then play with it a little bit and see what you like. And once you kind of know your settings, then you're good to go. It also has a programmable time clock. And the nice thing about that is I set that at night when I wake up in the morning, uh, that coffee is ready to go. So whatever time I wake up, I set the coffee machine to go and grind beforehand, and then it is ready to go when I go. And that coffee is actually ground right at the time that I want it to be ground, so it's enormously fresh. So let's go ahead and make some coffee. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it and pour some water in the tank. And I can pour as much water as I want, but typically I just like to fill the tank because even if I fill the tank and I do one cup, the rest of the water will just sit there in reserve. And once that tank fills, this little red button pops up and then that u boo beeps at me to tell me to stop filling the tank. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Prepara airtight container where I store all my coffee and I'm going to put some beans in the hopper. And that should be enough. And if I don't use all these beans, the hopper will just keep them uh, stored. It stores about a half pound of beans, so which is you know a good amount of coffee, so I don't need to fill it that frequently. Put the top on. I put the carafe under. I press start, and off we go. been ground and this machine is telling me that in 11 minutes and 9 seconds we are going to have coffee. So time to go do other things and wait just a few minutes because I'm ready for a good cup of coffee.
All right, Rebel says the coffee's done. Let's see how it turned out. I like my coffee strong, so it's got a beautiful darkness, steaming hot. Mm, perfect, tastes great. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.